Hi, uh, my name's Azu. Welcome to Aikido Flow. And I'm here to basically explain to you or basically answer the question why I choose Aikido over any martial arts. Now, I want to stress, I'm not saying Aikido is the best martial arts in the world. There's aspects of it which are brilliant aspects of all martial arts. For me, all martial arts is brilliant. But for what I do, Aikido, I found, is the best martial arts. My day job, I work in a school teaching kids. Part-time, I do security in nightclubs. I've been doing that for about 15 years and I've been in a lot of situations where I've used Aikido in real life. And the reason why it's best for me is because it gives me choice. Now, I'm not that young anymore and it's nice to be able to do something without having to punch or kick all the time. I've seen, I've been arrested twice on the job and that's often been a result of me hitting somebody back in the days and police come, they see blood, broken nose or whatever. Next minute I'm in cuffs, I'm being arrested and that was just me acting in self-defense. But Aikido lately I found has given me a choice. Like for example, sorry Andre, can I borrow you please? Andre, for example, I've been in many situations now. Let's, I'm gonna talk about first of all the, the situations where I've managed to defuse the situation and have it not escalate to anything. Okay, one scenario, one guy here, his mates are kicking off, so all security are fighting here. This guy, I'm trying to keep him calm and suddenly, he just grabs me, okay? And he grabs me and he goes for a punch here, okay? I was able to block it and come with a nikkyo and say to him, hey, my man, relax, calm down, okay? He felt a bit of pain here and that was enough for me. I didn't even have to take him down all the way or anything. That was enough for him to say, all right, mate, all right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And that disfused the situation. Another time, same thing, guy went for a grab. I grabbed his hand. And I gave him a nice lock here and I said to him, my man, please, relax yourself, calm down. You mean? And that was enough to disperse it. He was about to kick off, but it wasn't. I've also escorted people out of the club many times where I've come along, they've been lots of security pinning down one guy, trying to hold him, this guy's in a struggle. And I've come along and I've just grabbed him here, got him in a bit of a lock here and said, all right, everybody let go, let go. Come mate, let's go. And I've walked him out of the club. I've sent him out the door, yes. Goodbye, mate. Done. Dusted. So it hasn't really had to escalate into me throwing punches or whatever. And, and to be honest, sometimes people do silly things and maybe you want to inflict a bit of pain on them for them to make you realise that, OK, I shouldn't mess here. So it makes me able to do that without actually leaving any visible damage on them. I've also been in a scenario when I was attacked kicked out about 20 guys from the club, me and my other security, they started to rush the door. Now, we're all kind of fighting here, but one guy came at me, he came with a big swing, okay? Boom, this is when I thought, I have to go all out. So the block was here, and I just came here with my elbow, bang! Took him out, he was done, okay? And then the other guy, he came along, same thing, they always go for that haymaker. And all I did, I came here, boom, a nice clothesline. That could be seen as a tension argument, but this time it was a block, bang, I just went through. This was a scenario where I thought, okay, I need to do something here. There's 20 of them, I need to damage some people. Because what it resulted in, me damaging a few people, and everybody was just like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just backed off. Once they saw these people on the floor, it was a, they backed off. I've also been in a scenario where some, uh, one guy threw a punch and as I blocked, I just got him here. And I was able to take him down and just hold him there until you know, more security came and then took him out. But like I say, it gave me a choice. The last time I punched somebody in the face, me and, me and a colleague, big guy, attacked it. He came at me, I moved here. I punched him here, bang. I had teeth marks in my hand. My hand was bleeding. I had to go for a tetanus shot. I didn't want to take any chances. So that's why I love Aikido. It gives me choice. I necessarily don't have to, I always don't have to punch. I don't always have to kick. But in a situation where I feel, feel like I'm overwhelmed, I can go all out and truly damage somebody, whether it's an elbow, 
or even just some punches and an elbow and something different here, finish them off, but it gives me choice. That's why I love Aikido. And for me, it's the best martial arts for what I do. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.